We've got one day left. We've got one day of 60 degree weather and then the bottom drops out. It's gonna get really cold. We're going fall bass fishing in Minnesota. Okay, we're at the lake and I've got some baits tied on. I'll basically just go through what I'm using today. First bait, it's a flat A, it's a bomber flat A. It's a medium running crankbait. It's got a tighter wiggle, should be better in colder water theoretically. Second bait is a Pointer 100, a suspending jerk bait. That's always good, colder temperatures for largemouth. I also have a jig tied on, half ounce jig, black and blue. Gonna try that around docks and any green weeds that I see around here. Got a spinner bait, double willow spinner bait, half ounce double willow spinner bait. Good for covering water and you can slow it down. Double willow, you can work it deep, but if you need to, also works good fast, but today we're gonna be fishing it slow. Got a shaky head as well. If they're really being finicky, we'll uh, drop a shaky head on them. So that's what we're gonna try out first. I'm sure I'm gonna make some alterations and change different baits up for now. I think that's a good game plan. Everything's just so calm right now. Bright skies. You just gotta slow down and get subtle. And that's a pretty subtle presentation right there. You know, shaky head, that's a quarter ounce shaky head with just a you know, straight tail worm. Green pumpkin. There's a good fish. There's a nice one. Nice one. Nice one. And he was, oh, that's a nice fish too. He was right in some grass. Actually, looks like it might be some timber he was in. Oh. How's that one? All right, so he was in probably about three feet of water. I'm in four feet right now on the shaky head. This is a Jean LaRue shaky head. And it's got a little interesting little tail on it. Kind of like a tack, head of a tack, I'd say. But yeah, that's a nice one. Good large mouth. So, okay, shaky head did it. We'll uh, stick with that. There's timber on this shoreline. Some laydowns, and that's where that fish came from. The water is really interesting. There's this green scum on the surface. You get through that scum, and it's clear. I'm seeing a lot of scattered grass. I'm thinking about using a suspending jerk bait through here and just kind of doing something that's more in the middle of the water column instead of right on the bottom. So I'm gonna switch the color of this jerk bait out, to something more natural looking. Cool thing is I have a fast snap on here. It's super easy to change out colors. I think I'm gonna go to something like this. More natural looking. Nice one. Nice one. Nice large mouth. Come on, bud. Oh, he didn't like that at all. He didn't like that at all. Come here, buddy. You're not going to get off either. Oh. Ah, the jerk bait did it. Pointer 100. That's the deal. That color might have made a difference. It's a little bit more subtle. Ah. A chunky there. <laughs> I love that. That is good stuff. All right. Ugh. Fun, fun, fun. I'm not ready for winter. There's a bunch of grass right here. I mean, there's a, there's just a bunch of scattered grass, and it's plenty green yet. So they are in there. I would be absolutely screwed if I wasn't in this kayak. If I was in a different kayak that didn't have like swivel seating like this, I don't know how people do it. I really don't. I couldn't imagine being locked into one position because in bass fishing, you constantly have to be moving and adjusting, you know? And, and it just, especially for like proper cast placement, I don't, I don't, I don't know how people do it. Yeah. <laughs> 
fish. Uh, right on the edge of that lead edge. Uh, come here, buddy. Yeah, get it all out of you. Get it all out. Uh, smaller guy, but I'll take him. He had it really good, though. So that's a good sign. When they've got it that deep, they want it. No doubt. There you go. Huh, not a bad one. Jerk bait's doing it. That one was probably in about four feet of water, right on the edge. And how I'm fishing this thing, and this is a suspending jerk bait. Make a cast, jerk it down, get it down, and then you just let it sit. And jerk it, let it sit. And you want slack in your line when you jerk. You don't want to be pulling it. You want to be jerking it. You want it to be erratic and then sit. That slack in your line in a, in a jerk, it kind of pops it and it makes it more erratic. The colder the water, the more inactive the fish are, the longer you want that bait to sit there. Oh, there's a fish. Slammed it. Slammed it. Nice one, too. Oh, gosh. Slammed it. Oh, yes. Nice one, nice one, nice one. I think they're getting aggressive. Come here, come here. Oh, getting wound up. Oh, I thought he was bigger than this, but I'll take him. He just hammered it, absolutely hammered it. Freaked me out, man. Sun's getting lower and God, they're getting wound up. Not a bad one at all. I will take them all day. Like that. Oh, I love it. Yeah, the jerk bait, it's the deal. <laughs> I'm not even gonna mess with anything else. Oh, there's one there. Oh, there's a pike. They're in here too. That's all right. That's all right. They like to play too. You're come here. Just do not, so pike are very dangerous in many ways. They have sharp teeth and they have very sharp gill rakers. So even when you try to lip them, or <laughs> lip them, no, you never want to lip them. When you try to slide your fingers, uh, your finger, and he's just not opening up his mouth. So I gotta, I gotta help him open up his mouth a little bit. But what I'm doing right now, I'm, I'm uh, gilling him, but I'm not touching the gill. I'm, I'm just along the gill plate. But even, the, even doing that, you got to be careful because the gill rakers will rake your finger and they're super sharp and you will just, uh, you won't stop bleeding. It's crazy. Thank you, buddy. I think the fishing is so good right here because this is the only grass patch on this whole entire shoreline. I mean, it's, it's, it's a no-brainer. If you've got a whole shoreline and there's no grass and then you have a patch of grass, they're gonna be there. The jerk bait by which all others are measured. The pointer 100. Right there. That's why, I mean, come on. Oh my God, this is a big fish, man. <laughs> this is a big fish, man. I don't know what this, I think it's a large mouth. No, it's a pike. It's a pike. Okay. Right, we'll take them. We'll take them. Oh, they're fun though. Boy, are they fun. They're not a six pound largemouth, but they're fun. Just be nice, buddy. Oh, just be nice. I know there's largemouth mixed in with you, bud. Northern Pike, Esox Lucius. In case you were a fan of Latin. 
Unfortunately, the sun is going down and I'm gonna have to call it an evening. Had a lot of fun. The Lucky Craft Pointer 100 was the ticket. Also caught one on a shaky head. Subscribe to us, we'd appreciate it.